Here it is the final battle of the entire Sunburn number two weekend. Everyone at Brixton Jam, one last time, make some noise. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. Brixton Saturday, Brixton Sunday, we are here. Shouts to Sam Lowndes, keeping everybody fed and hungry and happy and shit all weekend. It's been amazing. Shouts to the whole team coming out. Shouts to all the battlers, the fans for hanging around uh, past 10 on a Sunday night when half of them probably got kids with people they didn't want them with and shit like that. We're about to get it in right now. Fuck responsibilities, we're out. We're going away even on a Sunday night. I'm genuinely not even drunk at all. I'm just having a good time. All right, MC on my right hand side, unanimous. Make some noise. Yeah. Shuffle team, make some noise. Yeah. He's a teabag, he's a teabag. Right. You know shit gets off the fucking chain when it's past ten on a Sunday and you're a rap battle event. It's about to be crazy. Shouts to you, Nan. Shouts to Shuffle. Tommy, want to flip? You want to shuffle to go first? Round number one, let's go. Your crowd reaction game has dropped. <laughs> you wouldn't see Locksmith pouring his glass today if half his mates just passed away. <laughs> the difference from where you were and are now is becoming quite clear. You used to make the crowd go wild and have a hundred guys cheer. Now when you're up, there's only really one thing I hear. What's he on about? Mate, I've got no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he comes out swinging with a couple bars, can't control his fucking arms, getting angry, doesn't laugh, gets back home, bubble bath! <laughs> In the real world, you're a cool dude and socially pretty nice and start rapping and turn to the biggest twat known in a flick of life. <laughs> it's like a magician chose you to go and be hypnotised because you get on stage and turn to a totally different guy and I know that it isn't right. I mean, when you battled Gemini, you said you'd stick a pyramid <laughs> in his ribs. <laughs> <laughs> That's a talent, mate. <laughs> Why would you say this kind of shit when you hit the battle rapping stage? We're you going to fly to Egypt to get one and bring it back for that display? Forget the strength you need, you know how much fucking planning that would take? <laughs> You're going to be at the airport trying to get your luggage checking done. How much is your bag worth, sir? Two and a half million fucking million pounds. <laughs> Does anyone remember when Gemini asked him if he hit his missus? And he went... Yeah. Didn't beat her up. <laughs> That's comforting. <laughs> so casual about it, like he's so fucking bored. Didn't beat her up. Do you think that will hold up in court? <laughs> Judge, like, did you attack this woman we've got to know? Didn't beat her up, fair enough, the main off we go. <laughs> she comes home late and you flat uppercut her. I discovered it when I followed this twat undercover. Had to take her out after and act like a lover, and that's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hitting women, Tommy. Must prefer when you can be gentle. I mean, some of them like it, but stay away from them. They're usually mental. <laughs> you know, that's like the idea of him in a relationship. I mean, ladies think you're taking him back to meet the parents. He's storming in half drunk. As soon as your dad sees him, he's hauling his ass up. Because he's got all angry and called him a daft cunt on Twitter every day for four and a half months. <laughs> He makes a cake to make it better. <laughs> but your cakes would be rubbish, no one wants that shit in here. The sponge would be as dry as you are and the message would be insincere. Wait. If your bacon's like you're battling, then I think it's crystal clear. You'd spend years working on it, but only make the middle tier. <laughs> so, Like you said, with me, every paragraph, like a religious passage. So if I batter women, that would mean as this shit happens, your ribs get shattered, cause according to the Bible, that's where we'll find the bitch in Adam. Now when I first saw him and Ma, I thought they're magic. But when Saw in half, I was playing the magician part. They're like, how's he do it? Put that bitch in a box, and not spill a single drop as he splits that shit to parts. Now I feel like I'm breaking the code of magic. Picking a trick apart. Mm. I was like, shuffle? I said, pick a card. Mm. He, can, he, can, he can pick 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said pick a card. He can pick which way he gets picked apart. Mm. Paul Moore knuckle. First round, first minute. I'm a Ali shuffle. That's how I leave shuffle. I could have beat shuffle if I came here listing off Egyptian monuments. I'll pick up, yeah. I could have beat shuffle if I came here listing off Egyptian monuments. I'll pick up cinder blocks and bricks and drop that pyramid on top of him. Yeah, the whole lot. Or leave him looking like a sphinx when I crack this cat's nose off. But hold up. Cause you know what? They didn't pay to just see you, Nan, spit the same first. Let's talk about some of the shit he'll do and say first. He'll probably start off each round with some mediocre setup, followed by a snidey flip, implying it. All of my passion is just some childish shit. Then he'll proceed to throw my personal life in it, and then throughout three rounds, try downplaying me like he thinks my style is shit. But what you'll find is this. I don't need a stylist. Plus, how can he break down my style if my style is more stylish? Mm. This is a rap battle, and you're not a rapper. Mm. You're a multi-sayer. <laughs> hold up, hold up. You're not a rapper. You're a multi-sayer. You have an alphabetized journal of multis. Yes. You're the multi savior. <laughs> Pitch a shuffle in the club. <laughs> Approaching total strangers like, hi, do you want to play my multis game? It's multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> I heard in Canada you stumbled into a bunch of thugs. <laughs> Talking about how they let that llama spray. One of them was like, yo fam, you ever had the biscuit jam? And you were like, yes, but I much prefer marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> you are fucking obsessed. <laughs> you told, you dissed a hundred bullets because he ditched a clash to take his family to Disneyland. Mm -hmm. I also cannot see why he would switch his plans. <laughs> It's because he is a dad. <laughs> Where would you take your kid's shuffle tea? Fucking Brixton Jack. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, shuffle twist. In this shit, you can spit a pretty vindictive verse. But the difference is I learned to spit to a rhythm first. This shit's been in my genes since my birth. Ain't just something I learned watching RK spit with her. Like you, like you, brittle little hip hop nerd. Introverted introvert. Type to ditch your bird cause you're busy twisting words like a signature. Oh. What happened to that last chick you used to bring to events? What happened to that moose, did you dump her? <laughs> Either way, good. Because her tight little inverted booty made it look like she could have used that butt for hoover suction. Face had a gruesome structure. But look at him looking at me anymore, looking at me like, oh, I'm not even with her anymore, so that angle is useless, brother. Ha ha ha, you still used to fucking. <laughs> She might give you a little bit of stick for me saying that. And you don't really need it. And beauty's only skin deep, but what happens when there's disfigurements to the bones underneath? So, so go ahead, break down my aggressiveness. Like really, you're not obsessed with it. Usually, all it takes is a few jars and he's impersonating his favorite Americans. Cause when it comes to being an impressionist, you wrote the blueprints. After a few lager sips, he's Charlie Clips, chokes included. <laughs> Little E and J, he's DNA. And I know he's toothless, but his impression's spot on. Go on, do it. <laughs> so which serious rapper? <laughs> which serious rapper are you mocking next? Like really it ain't their style that you want to rep. After a few bottles of beer, he's dropping his Cortez impression, dropping an M-bomb like he's got to Rex. It's funny, Brooklyn comes out the kid when you mix posh with Bex. <laughs> Oh, no.
know. I ain't even broke the mold yet. No sweat. After some burn, he gonna need his moles checked. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe a lot of the stuff that you're saying. <laughs> Talk shit about my multi games. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> you quit. Yeah. No. You quit joking a little while ago and wouldn't stop going on about it, which comes as quite smug. Like I'm sick of seeing these guys every other night drunk. You're so fucking self-righteous after a fucking dry month, and now you're on your high horse like mother, like son. <laughs> In your house each day, reopening up a wound, and I don't care if it's something someone made up to go for the W because you're a battler, and in this world, it's totally fucking true. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm just jealous of your mother's addictive streak. You must make present by such a lovely and simple feat. I mean, she sees she's got a couple of gifts under the Christmas tree, like, oh, it's needle shaped. I wonder what this could be. <laughs> Chasing the same dragons you rap about with your muggles and wizardry. Slamming that shit down until she has muscular dystrophy. She blew every dealer from London to Plymouth Beach. All that green, white and brown gave her a colourful history. <laughs> so ladies, overweight woman beater, whose mother does serious drugs? <laughs> I fucking know, right? Husband material much? <laughs> You know what I hate about you? I hate the face you make when someone calls you out in a battle and you become an overly smiley twat. <laughs> Someone's like, and you nan's a cunt. He's like, ha, ha, totally fine with that. <laughs> Always going on about swag, it's a bad attitude. You wouldn't be owning swag with a holding bag of stolen cash from the bank with you. You just don't have that attribute. I mean, I'm a posh fucking cunt and I can fake better swag than you. <laughs> Poor example. <laughs> I'm so smooth, don't you know? See on point like a Toblerone. Oh. Barry White's vocal coach. Oh. Two FLY is my postal code. Oh. I can do -si do on a broken toe. This ain't my first rodeo. I'm so laid back, I'm comatose like your mother post overdose. Oh. Oh. Turn up to your house as hollow and YOLO. Jump through the window as a hop and a pogo. Beat you down because you don't honor the broco. Tell him my. Oh, fuck, I forgot this is solo. <laughs> <laughs> the Axel's swagged out and tough, but in reality he is shook. Because he can't actually summon shit from his magical demon books. <laughs> Your achievements in battle in this how I imagine I'll see it put. You're the closest you get to good without actually being good. I mean, you're a fucking farmer. And even your cattle thinks that you should go. Your cows talk about you until you come home. <laughs> saying since you casually shaved your head up when you rap you literally look like the angriest baby ever. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I will lyrically hit you with a lyrical punch. <laughs> and I will lyrically shoot you with a lyrical gun. You know why? Because I think there's fun. <laughs> Say shit like, I hit my plug for that slab of coca. Mm. Told him I need that food on point like a lamb samosa. <laughs> so much style in my execution. <laughs> They're calling me a fake. <laughs> it's on point. <laughs> so much style in my execution. They're calling me a fashion god. Mm. It's that expensive heat that you don't get for free. I tailor major caskets cloth. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Louis print on a Uzi's brick. Weapons designed. <laughs> Mikhail Kalashnikov. Everything you wore, camp. My weapons tent's got an expensive scent and it ain't Davidoff. Some would say I'm set to be a witness to my murder. Mm. And that this was over before Shuffle wrote a verse. But in my mind, I'm a champion firing at random and he's just an innocent bystander getting a shot that he don't deserve. Mm. Look. When it comes to my affairs, I caught up with him. Realized life ain't fair. It's no doubt intense. I'm a man that's been framed like Andy Dufresne. That's why shit got deep when I broke out the pen. Look, 
If you ever had your, look, listen, if you ever had your mother watch your most recent clash over, then turn to you and ask, like, why are they saying I'm smack prone and you just gotta laugh it off? Like, don't worry, mum, because the man's joking. Huh? Picture it. Capture that moment. It ain't technically my fault. My accuracy's off. They just come with crooked angles a lot, and so I lack focus like the cam's broken. Mm. Speaking of cams, though, for the record, without Marlow, you have no replay value, no cause. All them relevant, relative multis are so forced, just so on and so forth. I hope you're. Holmes porch gets hit by a snowstorm just so I can laugh at the soul thought of you taking a blowtorch to a closed door. Fuck that. Because of you, I took a cut back. Now I'm taking tea out for cheap, like a second hand clothes store. I'll have blades around tea, like the green on a golf course. But that's some shit I say for later because he could wait for a golf war. Fuck if they get it. I don't give a fuck if they get it. Let it marinate. Plus, I don't trust the opinions of the people that allowed this scene to oversaturate. I watched average Joes just pass and go. And you lot gas them, though, like they're game changers. And they are, because they downgrade the quality of the game like chip PlayStations. <laughs> Bunch of fucking forum nerds. I bet gluten makes their tummies restless. <laughs> That's funny. I bet gluten makes their tummies restless. And that's funny, because I ain't even started cooking yet, and there's a muffin present. <laughs> Fuck it! I'll eat this muffin with crumbled edges. Turn the heat up on this knob like I'm readjusting my oven settings. My last few clashes. My last few clashes. I barely had a punch connected. Now it's like you got spiked on prom night. The punch is strength and shuffle. Brethren. I don't want to hear nothing about the sluts you're pressing. It don't mean you got a wingman or you get birds just because you go hunting pheasant with your cousin Edwin. <laughs> they forewarned me, don't come aggressive. Otherwise that funny cunt will stunt your presence. Luckily I brought just a weapon to counteract them funny methods. You're this because of X, what? I'll kick your fucking head. <laughs> Because if anyone ever put any kind of heat in your face, you'd retreat to your base, start jumping fences, wearing them coats and sides the only time we see shuffing trenches. So don't diss me for talking about weapons, because you're carrying them too. I mean, look at those fucking things. You could probably stab me with your shoe. <laughs> I don't think the way you rapped in your verses is true. <laughs> and you keep on changing from the person we knew. That's why you're always on Twitter, in my personal view. You get 140 different characters. That's perfect for you. Because you start throwing threats about after a fucking Cronenberg line. <laughs> People fly off the handle at you like a don't disturb sign. Psychosis, money, Mitch, you should have known the first time. They don't really settle disputes through fucking spoken word fights. <laughs> but what I take issue with is this. People are always saying he's a pussy. I'm a bigger pussy than he could ever be. <laughs> I'm a bigger pussy than he could ever be. Step to me. They'll say that Shuffle fled the scene. He's a bigger threat than me. I've backed out of fights with kids under 17. <laughs> Back out of fights with kids under 17, women over 70, I let the fear get to me, I'm pathetic. Weep! I might get a lucky hit against your cheek, but I'll be running away before I can even check to see. It's true shit. I've got on a screw loose. I've lost fights to twist caps on a bottle of fruit juice. I'm not gonna attack and I'm not gonna shoot you. If I had a weapon and a gun, I'd probably offer it to you. No fucker is as awkward as me. You might see me walk in the streets, come over, ask what the time is, I'll fall to my knees. Dull the first two nines in my pocket before you can breathe. You move slowly, I dull the third nine and call the police. You're not a pussy. You're up about swords. And yeah, it's, it's a sudden dead lull, but what do you expect? You overuse a blade, it's gonna get dull. Mm. It's kind of a metaphor for where you're at. Because you've gone from being the monstrosity to the easy target. Everyone wants to battle, but no one wants to see. I mean, you are such a big name who has to cope with the fact you've become a stepping stone that's getting slowly eroded to sand. You're on a downward spiral and there's no getting back. I mean, how are you going to explain it to both of your fans? <laughs> I mean, you choke all the time now. 
in the second half when the pressure starts. These days you run out of juice quicker than a travel lodge breakfast bar. Then you come back saying how ready for the next step you are, but being hungry to win isn't the same as being attention starved. Mm. Fucking unanimous means undisputed. And given respect too, people like Soul, Tony D, Definition and Tenchu, you'll never reach that level and it would be best if you didn't pretend to, so change your name from unanimous to 6-1 split decision against you. Fucking oh. <laughs> 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 unanimous? Unanimous what? Unanimously disappointed every fan that you've got. <laughs> <laughs> unanimously turned down for every Canada shot. Unanimously agreed that unanimous lost. Remember the champion shot? Do you remember the champion shot? Yeah. Fucking course you don't! <laughs> <laughs> Look, everyone, you fucking say shit like you don't win because you don't write a third round. My advice if you want to fucking win is write a third round. <laughs> Everyone's wow. sick of you trying to get. Everyone's sick of you trying to make excuses. The foundations you made are just ancient ruins. You need to admit to yourself that this phase is through with and either change the blueprints or face the music. I mean, this is the last chance to loon this afternoon. So listen here. I don't need a wizard beard or magician gear or an assistant near to make you disappear. Found on Plymouth Pier, washed up like Richard Gear. You choked by a bad material today, that's the end of his career. I'm sure there's a place for you in this world, Tommy. It just isn't here. You've done this the last half a decade, you can do it another 50 years, and all you're gonna reach is the fucking middle tier of middle tier. Oh. Time. Real talk, this is some real shit, so like... This is something I've wanted to say since school, you know? <laughs> it makes you a faggot if I can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Fuck that. I bet you're getting worried now Marlo's settling into a cosy relationship. And I know that it's painful, but you know she's his favourite. Whilst you're at your local alone, the coaster you're only mate, as you hold it, explain it, with your soul that you hate this chick as you feel as if Marlo is contained within a total dictatorship, like if he asked me to be the best man at his wedding, I'd throw it away his engagement ring. <laughs> yeah, fuck the honeymoon too. Our movie should go on vacation with. I know just the place for it. <laughs> she's never helped him to make any global acquaintances. Your emotional state can switch just knowing that she's at home every day with him. You just lose control of your brain and start throwing your plates and shit. Posting up a poster of her face and throwing a blade at it, then exploding with rage. Throwing grenades at it, the rocking back and forth in the corner like she won't get away with this. <laughs> but no, but no, it's you that won't get away with it. Because your jokes, they're amazing, but it's major faults in your flows and your cadences. When you're on your own, you're so basic. Without Marlo, we really notice the space there is. To you, this is a laugh, but you try lift my pad. Your wrist would snap, and your shoulders give way with it, so fuck your jokes, cause if you got a funny bong, then I'm breaking it. You, you big kid twist so fucking bad, you pretty much stolen his alias. You should change your name to Orphan Black, cause you're programmed to clone a Canadian. Mm. Fuck that, check this. I wanna set the scene at Marlowe's stag do. <laughs> He's rented out a local social club for the evening. The sherry's are flowing, dog. <laughs> He's rented out a local social club for the evening. The sherry's are flowing, darling. Everybody is leaning. Marlo is stood drunkenly speaking to his uncle about a honeymoon that he's booked at a wonderful couple's retreat somewhere in Egypt. Till out the corner of his cornea in a corner of the room he sees that Shuffle is weeping. So he slides over like, Ah, Shuffle, can you feel it? Tonight's the night I'm cut from my freedom. Can you fucking believe it? And he's like, you know what? No! I can't fucking believe it. I mean, who am I gonna structure my schemes with? You <laughs> shouldn't be with her for hundreds of reasons. One of them being she's always coming between us, talking about you should give Shuffle a beating. He's behind your back, he always says you're not as funny as he is. <laughs> Fucking shuffle quickly, Marlo quickly cuts him off, because he can see where the trouble is leading, like... Yeah, well, I bloody love a shuffle, so just leave it! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no.
And motherfucker, I mean this. You stole Kid Twist style down to his fucking features. It's in your DNA. He makes up your being. That's why there's twisting your structure like a double helix. Mm. My science has Anyway, your rich white parents didn't think natural birth was worth their while. They just walked into a science lab and pointed at a petri dish that said perfect child. <laughs> Physical traits, pearly smile. Abilities, versatile. What they didn't see is next to music taste that said urban style. <laughs> Marlo were born joined at the hip. Now he ain't on your side. See, that's funny. Because when you separate conjoined twins, usually one of them's got to die. Time. I swallowed blood before I swallowed my pride. Never back down. Too much on my pride. So try and chat or fight back until I get knocked out or die. Because me and Tommy ain't alike. Because see, I like you, man. I've actually got the bottle to war with you. But I ain't going to send shots from behind closed doors like Oscar Pastorius when I'm. Yeah.